everybody. I be forgetting I be having to like to vlog in real life. I just bought like a six hundred dollar camera for nothing. <laughs> like I'm actually Very supposed nice. to be like on the camera and showing y'all what I'm doing. Right, right. Um. All right. Where are you going, DJ No Hezzy? You didn't even know my DJ name for a second. <laughs> it's eight fifteen. Don't worry about that tall nigga that's on my phone. It's eight fifteen. Where's my stand? I want my stand. It's I see a lot of people like deck. when they're vlogging, they have it on the actual like pod. Oh, well, it's probably easier to hold. Yeah, then like. How do you keep it still? Yeah, that too. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Right. Anyway, so we're going to Mirage. M I R A G E. Mirage? That's right. Okay, well, I'm going to Mirage. Yeah, so we're going to see what it's like over there. I'm going to, I see like, it's more like a hookah lounge, but this, this, I, so the hookah lounge I've been DJing, it's called Fig Cafe Hookah Lounge, right? It's a bring your own bottle. It's kind of ghetto though. So like most people there want to listen to all like hip hop music, but I play like R&B for like 30 seconds. They was like, now turn this shit off, big bro. Like, play that fucking sexy red. Play that I'm looking for the hoes. So... All I could do was play hip hop. I couldn't really get like a good taste of like you feel me. Fucking around. I was just there yesterday. Yesterday I DJ there again, but this time I did what I wanted to do. I set the tone. I was a little drunk, but I set the tone basically. Cause last the last week they won't let me set the tone. It was like I couldn't end the night off with a banger because people were trying to be the DJ for the night. And you feel me? It's my first time there. I was a little shy, a little nervous, so I was kind of like giving my hand, but. Yesterday, people would come up to me, play this, play that. Nah. Nah, bruh. Let me get that, bruh. But I set the tone. We started off with some smooth little mix, R&B. Then we went to some modern hip-hop, no bangers. Then we then went we went banger, modern hip-hop, banger, modern hip-hop. So we played like, like tomorrow too, regular, regular hip-hop. Then we jump into put it on the floor again, regular hip-hop. You feel me? This time so some people start pulling in. Then we start dropping bangers, 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 bangers. Mix it up with some with some Afro beats. Um, jumped into some rap, and then I think we ended a knife off with some bangers again. We did, um, of course, dreams and nightmares. I'm a boss. Preach, uh, finito. So we was turning up. We was going crazy yesterday. So today we're gonna see what the vibes is over at Mirage. See what's going on over there. See what's happening. See what it's like. I see they got a food menu. So I'm gonna get some wings. I've been wanting wings for like a fucking week, bro. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hold you... on. Oh, oh, everything. Uh, laptop, camera, batteries for camera, phone, little 20 splash for my wings. Y'all, I'm super excited about these wings, y'all. Y'all don't fucking understand. Oh, let me get some wine for the trip. next to us just gave the homeless people the rest of his food now look at him he over there jigging he happy oh he not jigging no more he was just jigging he said ah, ah, ah. i ain't got shit for you mr sir man i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna lie they're not eating that he happy though he over there jigging he fucking up yeah yeah oh, yeah that's on wings and and then and then he bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come for you you want to? I do. I it's a bad. dirty hoodie. Why is this long ass thing? What size is your hoodie? Oh, well, it's bigger than me. Damn. Oh, wait. We're going to come back this way anyway, right? right. A few moments later. Okay. Yo! Get your cold ass over here. We don't got no money for you. We got a hoodie. Huh. huh. It's a hoodie. Thank you guys so no much. No problem. Have a good night. Stay warm. Thank you. Have a good one. Aw. See, he really needed it. <laughs> I knew he was shivering. I would be cold too. Yeah. 
Well, ain't nobody told his ass to be homeless. So, you know, <laughs> hey. look at him. Look at him putting his hoodie on. Aww. Look at him. He's so warm. Yay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people just be walking outside. They forgetting that it's October. It's getting cold, honey. Mm -hmm. Like they gonna all be sick by next week. Mm -hmm. I didn't get this goddamn wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's the way you said it. What? <laughs> like it's really on your mind. Yeah, like, like, you don't care I'm about nothing else right hungry, now. Bruh. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hold on. Oh. oh! So this is the place. What's up, Bucks? What's going on? You coming inside? Yeah. Are you here to for target? Yeah, I'm with the DJ. DJ? Yeah. I'm gonna just get a confirmation, but I'm gonna check okay. you right. Let me check your bag real quick. Mm -hmm. That's a big ass raccoon over there! Raccoon! Oh, so, I don't got no confirmation. Um, did the DJ come already or no? Uh, Becky T, yeah, she should be here. I don't think she came because I didn't check her. Um, she okay. would just have to get confirmation with management to let you in. Okay. And then, are you with a section or are you just going to be with her? I'm just going to be with her. Alright, because, and then that's another thing. Like, if you in a section, you can only take pictures of people that's, like, in the section, but you can't, like, vlog. Throughout okay. the whole building and stuff like that. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I so mean, I could record myself though, right? Yeah, but okay. um. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Ooh, we skin. Becky T finally pulls up on your boy. So I was letting her settle through her little one, two. And one thing I noticed upon meeting Becky T was she was a cool, genuine, thorough ass DJ. Not even just a DJ, just a person all around, especially funny as shit. So while she was setting up, I was walking around the Mirage, taking a look. And as I was looking upon Mirage, it's a beautiful spot, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Clean. Everything was set up. I felt really safe with the security that they had. Good hookahs, good food, good drinks. I mean, you can't ask for more. Mirage, I really hope to work with you guys in the future. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know who the fuck I thought I was right here. I was trying to do like a little professional little video video, but I'm not a fucking videographer. So I was just trying to, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I was trying to do. Okay, so boom, not even going to lie to y'all, I was copying some songs that she had that I did not have in my own crates myself, so I... I had to write them shits down. But yeah, Becky T's doing her big one. Some people were starting to roll in. So, you know, she started getting more into hip hop. And she was going a little crazy. So I was asking her some questions here and there. And she was nice enough to answer literally all my questions and break them down to me while DJing. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I might have to tell another person like, yo, I'm busy. Shut up. But nah, she was just like, hold on. Or she got back to it a little bit later and answered all my questions. As you can see, I'm like screen after screen trying to see what she's doing, how she navigates and cycles through her music, um, her hand movements, how she transitions, blends, mixes, everything. And I was just trying to pick up a little one-two that could probably help me in my own sets or something that I could practice. I'm not trying to copy her whole go-to, but I could see that she was doing some things that look a little bit easier for me to try for myself. But, um, yeah, the peace sign kind of fucking took me out. But, um, yeah, like, she was just an all-around great person, good DJ, just doing her thing. After the status, after them impact statements, after the castle, hey JR, nigga, ain't it a blessing? We made a lot of laughs, and after all they had it, that bitch, nigga, after Michigan State, after Harper when our man's told on us, them bands they took from us, Joy Road, bitch, but the money 
all over six mile, break mile, knock your ox down, pick her up, knock her back down, pull her tracks up. Yes, I slap, girl. Yes, I slap, dog. Yes, I slap, mom. Yes, I slap, girl. Yes, I slap, girl. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hold on, oh, oh. They try to get my girl to keep playing music, but that time up, that time up, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, what do you like? What, 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 what? To like three shots together? Definitely three or four. Yeah, three or four shots. Yeah, I made it extra hot in. Extra hot. Extra hot. They is not trying to leave. That's a fact. I will show y'all who it is, but they say I can't record around here. I can only record me. So they is not trying to leave, y'all. Raj will be in it too. It's what? What the? What's up? It's like 140 something. 144. No music playing. They just sitting down chatting. They really not gonna leave until it's time to get kicked out. Bobby. All right, so who are you and where are you from? Boom, my name is DJ Becky T. Uh-huh. Real name Tiana Beck. I'm from North Philly. Well, Shellingham area, but I live in North Philly, so I represent North, that's where I'm at. How long have you been DJing for? Uh, I'm going on, I think, fifth or sixth year. I started DJing when I was like a sophomore in college. Um, okay. I actually started off as a Bluetooth DJ. But eventually, I invested in my stuff and got like a board and all the shit. And then my family also supported me as well. So yeah. Okay. Okay. And if you don't mind us asking, how old are you now? I'm currently 25. 25. Going on 26 at January 10th. Okay, that's crazy. My birthday's January 6th. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so <Cap> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So when Jerry come around, we definitely gotta link Absolutely. up, do a couple a shots. What do you have to say to the youth and new and beginning DJs? Uh, damn, that's a good ass question. <laughs> youth and beginning DJs not to give up like um, especially in uh, this field that we in like you won't come across a lot of problems or like I guess like blocks in your road or your path don't let that stop you like no matter what also another thing I would say network 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 like network. that's the only way that you can really I'm not gonna say that's the only way but it's like uh, within this within this realm or this world of DJing, like there's so many DJs out here that's willing to help. And for me, I know that was my biggest downfall. I never wanted to ask for help. So like three years, four years in, I was just doing everything by myself, but it was kind of hard. But then I reached out to the right person. Shout out to like DJ HBK. Um, reached out to him and I got a mentor. He's my mentor right now. Literally amazing, amazing dude. Like he even Kill Sing, she actually came into Mirage too. Like so many people, they do Nikki Night, they do You, Me, and R&B. Um, literally everybody. So it's just like network, network, network. Like um, the only way you can really, you can't do this alone. Like connect with so many people that you know that's in your same field, connect with creatives that's in your same field. And also practice, like do your big one when it comes to like really practicing your craft. Cause there's a lot of DJs out here that's so-called up at the top, but when it comes to craft, that craft shit like is ass. But um, here in this world, it's not about craft. It's about who you are and who you know. So I would say network for sure. Okay, thank you for that. No problem. Um, two more questions. What's up? Where do you see yourself a couple years from now? Good question. Love that. I'm working on that right now. So like um, outside of DJ, and I'm also a CEO of Deluxe Entertainment. Is mm -hmm. up and coming. Um, basically it's a event production company so like my goal my dream is I don't want to be in the clubs all the time I don't want to not saying I wouldn't want to do it but like I would love to do festivals EDM stuff I want to also be able to have a team of other DJs that can get the opportunity the way I was put on I want to put other people in. Um, lighting technicians videographers uh, photographers like everything in that creative realm and making it like I said networking making it a group so it's like say if I have somebody that's in Dubai that's like yo I need videographers we need a stage built I got my team that's set for it so that's my goal deluxe entertainment I promise you it's gonna be on top mm -hmm. and my guy behind the camera gonna be there too so, okay okay for sure so, yeah. all right 
Shout out to Lux Entertainment. Where do you want to end your journey? Mm. Honestly, I feel like my life goal is to have my business um, with Deluxe Entertainment, but I also want to bring it back home. Like, um, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for Philly. So, like, something I know that's kind of up and coming is, like, for me personally, I didn't have a lot of hope. Um, I want to create a space where... Uh, upcoming DJs, like I said, creatives, lighting technicians, like it's a place for them to come to. And shout out to the ones that's already starting this one, like Immortal Vision, um, Rec Philly is one as well. Um, but I want to bring it back home, basically have a big ass studio, kind of like Tyler Perry Studios, where mm -hmm. everybody can come there, work on their craft, and not even just for creatives, but like if we got rappers and we need a video, I want to do upscale lighting for them, uh, LED walls and all this stuff that really help insinuate the goal of what they want to do um and for me i think end goal would be having all my businesses run and just taking endless trips i love taking trips i just want to be comfortable with me and my family my girl so yeah that's my end goal. okay awesome. all right that all sound great listen i appreciate you for giving me your time appreciate i appreciate you. you for your feedback you know for telling us how everything is um I mean, that's it. DJ that's it. Becky T, everybody. DJ Becky T on Instagram. Right. At DJ Becky T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, 3 a.m. I'm in the studio, down the doors, and I won't be charged by the bitch I fought last year. She's somewhere hoeing out.